Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Oh, oh, oh the eel blur Welcome back to Ill Blur Matic. And today's story time is how my bookstore Chris curved your man's. Okay. <laughs> so this story starts off uh, on a Sunday. Um, and literally, you know what I'm saying? I went to the bookstore and everything. And, and you know, your boy, when I go to the bookstore, it's like I stay in there. I love the bookstore. I love they have different types of books on different things, whether it's food, music, art, manga, cartoons, comic books, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm really like, I love going to the bookstore because you never know what you can pick up a good read in that. So I went to this place called Book A Zillions in the neighborhood, um, not too far from where I live. And, you know, so I, I go around, you know what I'm saying, checking out different stuff. I see this young lady, man. Nice looking young lady, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, usually, <laughs> I ain't going to discriminate. I ain't going to lie. I like them short, sure, but they're, they're some pretty tall girls. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I come across this individual. Seemed like she was really cool and everything. And, you know, we, we had a little conversation. Can't remember exactly what the conversation was about. I know that she was like, you know, I see that you're into this type of stuff because your boy is an otaku. You know what I'm saying? I'm into Marvel and DC type of stuff too. Um, but I, I think it just smiled on either anime or either Marvel or DC type of stuff. <laughs> so I see her in the bookstore. She actually works at the bookstore at the time. Um, and literally, you know what I'm saying? I, I you know... Had said to myself, I said, I want to know more about this person. You know what I'm saying? You know, it seemed like she was pretty cool and everything. So I, I struck up the, the actual courage <laughs> to literally, uh, you know, get the number. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in line and I'm like, man, I hope it's this person. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I can like kind of see, you know, what's going on with him and everything. So Luckily, <laughs> it didn't happen. Uh, you know what I'm saying? She run me up and everything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you know, sometimes you gotta be careful. I, I know some places you can't get the person's number at their job. I don't know why it's weird that way, but it's happened before, okay? <laughs> but uh literally, I you know what I'm saying, I said, yo, you know what I'm saying, it sound like you cool and everything, you know what I'm saying? You I introduced yourself to me and all that stuff. I said, yo, like, do you do the, you know, the conventions and stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, Yumacon, Michigan Comic Con, Motor City Comic Con. So, oh, yeah, I'm into Yumacon. I said, bet, tell you what, you know what I'm saying? Why don't we go to Yumacon together? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get to know you, you know what I'm saying? As a friend, and, and you know what I'm saying? You know, I, was, I had a crush on her and stuff, but I'd rather be friends first. And I'm not like, oh, yeah, I'm into, you know, all into you. But I was like, yeah, let's, you know, kind of like hang out. Maybe we go to the movies or maybe just, you know, hang out at a con. She's like, oh, yeah, you can get my number. So she like, yeah, you know, you can get my number and stuff. So, you know, I got her number and stuff. You know, she's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to test you. I, you know, I put my number on a car <laughs> that I had. <laughs> Your boy smooth, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know. I was thinking like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to hear from her and stuff, you know, and it was crazy. I, I didn't hear nothing from her, you know what I'm saying? Um, I stopped going to the bookstore like like on a, on a daily, like, uh, you know, on a constant Sunday type of thing because <laughs> I didn't want that person to think like I'm stalking nobody. I ain't, I ain't into that stalking mess, okay? So I, I stopped like kind of like going there for a while. So, you know, it wouldn't be like, okay, I'm coming up here to just see you. <laughs> it ain't that type of deal, sweetheart. It is not. Yeah, you pretty and everything, but that is, that's not what I'm trying to do. You know, you can go to jail for that, okay? So uh, I like, let's fast forward this. Yumakon comes around, right? So Yumakon. You know, I'm out in the in the um, area where people are vendors selling things and stuff inside this hall, and you know, inside Copa Hall, which is now known as some other place. It, it's weird. <laughs> the new name, I, I just, I, I still call it Copa. I'm sorry, y'all. So I, I, I stumble across her, and you know, it was weird, man. It's like, I, you know, I threw my hands up, like, yo, like. 
you never was gonna shoot me up a call or none of that. Um, but my my thing is, I'm glad that she didn't try to overreact or snap on me. All I did was throw my hands like, like yo, like, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't like trying to cuss her out and none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to have a good time at the convention. Um, but it, it was it was awkward kind of like crossing past with her because she was talking all this, you know, good game, ladies. You know, some of y'all talk a good game, and, and that's okay. But, you know, stay true to who you are. If you wasn't interested, you should have said that from the jump. But other than that, I, I got to say, I learned the lesson. Hey, we, we get curved, ghosted, whatever it is. It, it's life. You know what I'm saying? Just don't take it personal if you get ghosted by somebody or, you know, uh, they, they, they really don't or they curve you, whatever y'all calling it nowadays because everybody got to call it ghosting. Some of y'all call it getting curved or played <laughs> back in the day. Um, but you know, I, I, sometimes you wonder like, what was the person's point of getting someone's number if you're never going to actually call them, right? <laughs> it's the craziest thing, y'all. You know, you're like, really though? Really? <laughs> but has this ever happened to you where you had a crush or someone and you just get curved by them? Like, tell me in the comments, your boy, ill blur, right? Until this time, guys, have a great day. I am out. <laughs>